Welcome to class, Mama's to be. During this class, we're going to explore a very light vinyasa yoga flow to help warm up the body, connect you to the baby, and regulate your nervous system. Whether you're doing this class in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening, at any time, it's going to assist you in regulating and balancing your nervous system, as well as helping you grow that connection that we're building to ourself, ourselves, and the budding baby. We're gonna begin by warming up the wrists, clasping the hands together in front of us while we sit in either easy seat, or I'll turn to the side, on our knees with the tops of our feet pressing into the earth and our sit bones resting on our heels. We can clasp the fingers together and bring the elbows together, holding the arms out in front of us and begin to rotate the wrist in circular motions so we can ignite the circulation through these more heavier joints that take on a lot of pressure and tension throughout the day. We can get a lot of buildup of stale emotions and energy in our wrists and in our joints, specifically as our hands are the extensions of our hearts, switching directions, playing with it, moving it around and the left side representing our receiving and the right side our giving. So allowing the spirit, the heart to play in all the things that we do and create with our hands and all the ways our hands and our wrists are going to be assisting us with our babies once they're physically here. And then keep the clasp of the hands and just inhale your arms up and over the crown of your head, taking the palm up towards the sky pressing the palm up on the inhale and on an exhale, rolling the shoulders down the back, drawing the navel and the baby slightly in towards the spine to elongate through the back and through the neck to create a long governing channel. As you exhale, bring the arms down by the sides with the palms pressing out. Feeling that pressure begin to build in the wrists. And on an exhale, pointing the fingers now down to the earth, feeling that stretch along the arms, all the way into the tips of the fingers. And then we'll begin to lower our left palm, trickling the fingertips down to the earth, creating a tripod or planting the arm wherever it feels best inhaling the right arm up to the sky and then exhale taking the bend through the side body slightly arcing over the left side taking the gaze down to the earth or up to the palm and on the next inhale reach the right arm back up to the sky and begin to trickle the right fingertips down to the right side of a yoga mat, inhaling the left arm up. And on the exhale, arcing over the right side of the body, taking the gaze down to the earth or up to the palm, breathing into the intercostal ribs. On your next exhale, the left arm floats down to the earth and begin to walk the fingertips away from you. As the right hand reaches up to the sky, over to the left side of the brain of the head, slightly drawing the right ear down to the right shoulder. As you create the stretch through the left side of the neck, into the clavicle, into the shoulder girdle, Sending the breath to the areas that are speaking the loudest. And then begin to tuck your chin in towards your chest. And 
then slowly let go, trickling the right fingertips now down to the earth, bringing the neck neutral. Begin to walk the right fingertips out beside you. Feeling that stretch, begin to build as you inhale the left arm up overhead, grabbing the right side of the brain and slowly dropping the left ear towards the left shoulder. Sending the breath directly to the stretch, visualizing that loudest energy within the body, whether that be the actual physical tension you're creating or your thoughts running wild, focusing your breath into that area and visualizing it's like a lung and you're filling it up. Fresh oxygen and then exhaling out any stale air, debris, emotion, no longer needed. On the next inhale, begin to let go of the head, bringing it neutral, bringing the arms down to the sides. Just brushing the earth as we inhale, reaching both arms up overhead. Palm comes together, lowering down to the heart. And we're gonna to begin to shift our weight forward, lifting off of our heels, bringing our hands into tabletop position. Or onto all fours. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Make room for baby and belly and give some space. So just get, take an extra wide stance for yourself, whatever feels right for your body. And we're going to begin to visualize that we're drawing behind us a big circle with our tailbone. Taking the direction that feels right for you to begin with. Linking the breath to the movement and then alternating directions. We'll then imagine our navel drawing big circles on the yoga mat beneath us. Breathing into the baby. You start to connect even more to your body, switching directions. And starting to observe every sign and symptom, whether that comes through your ideas or your thoughts or your feelings or your physical sensations. And then bring the heels back to the sit bones as if we're in an active child's pose and on your inhale begin to wave forward as you lower your pubic bone and your belly towards the earth until they touch draw the shoulder blades slightly together and then draw your tailbone back up to the sky lower belly towards the earth but keep a slight engagement of the baby up towards the spine like you're hugging baby in or babies and then lowering the sit bones back down to the heels, pausing for a breath. And as you inhale, waving forward through cat pose, arcing through the spine. And then releasing the pubic bone and the belly down to the earth for an active cobra. And then an inhale and the tailbone will draw us back through cow pose, arcing through the spine, lowering heels, our bum to our heels, and then inhale, waving forward, exhaling in to our modified active cobra, and exhale to draw ourselves back into our active child's pose. And just take a few flows of that with your own breath, linking your inhales and your exhales to the movement. And on this next inhale, as we wave forward, we'll pause here and inhale, looking over the left shoulder and come back to neutral as you exhale and inhale, looking over the right shoulder. 
and exhale as you come back to neutral and begin to bring your toes together, knees out wide, creating space for a belly as you sink your hips down to your heels for child's pose and begin to crawl your forearms and your palms forward, keeping them engaged and pressing into the earth. Draw your heart forward as if you're slingshotting it. Well, at the same time, your tailbone is pulling down to the earth into the back of your yoga mat. And then allow your forehead to slowly drop towards the yoga mat. And take a few rounds of your organic breath here. On your next inhale, begin to rise, sliding the hands back towards you, drawing the knees together, keeping a slight space in between. Your hands will float towards your feet and your heels as you drop your crown slowly to the earth. And begin to just roll forward and backward on the forehead, all the way onto the top of the head, towards the back of the head, just feeling and creating that stretch through the back of the neck. A tiny inversion to help reverse the energy. And then on your inhale, slowly bring your hands underneath you to lift up the feet. Draw the balls of the feet towards the yoga mat and press them into the earth. And this might be where you stay or it's available for you to walk your hands back a little bit closer towards your knees, or you can bring your palms all the way onto the tops of your thighs, just for a beautiful heel, an arch and foot stretch, which might be intense for some of us as we're carrying all of this extra blood and weight and fluids and baby. Taking a moment to allow the heart rate and your breathing to come back to normal. Your new normal, your pregnant normal. <laughs> and then begin to slide the hands back in front of you. And we're going to press the palms and the balls of the feet into the earth. And begin to lift our tailbone up to the sky, keeping a nice big bend in the knees. As we reach all the way up into that inverted V. And then on an exhale, begin to lower the left heel towards the earth, taking a big bend through the right knee, pressing the yoga mat away from you, rolling your shoulders away from your ears and down towards the yoga mat. And allowing your organic breath to assist you in a little bit more of an intense inversion. Now bending into the left knee, reaching the right heel down to the earth, lengthening through the back of the right leg. Take another push through the hands, reaching your tailbone up even higher, closing the space between the belly and your left thigh. And you can take that left thigh towards the outside of the belly to make space for it. And dropping the neck, not holding any tension in it. And then on your next inhale, big bend into both legs, making space for belly, reaching the tailbone up even higher, pushing even harder through the hands. And then slowly begin to lower the knees all the way down to the earth, cross at the ankles behind you and begin to lower your bum down to the mat while you walk your hands back. Standing those legs out in front of you, creating enough space for your hips and your belly. From here, we'll take a modified staff pose, pushing our hands into the earth to elongate through the spine, straightening through the legs. And again, regulating our breathing. 
We'll inhale our arms all the way up, gathering our higher mind and all of our bigger, broader view, pushing the palms together, exhaling the hands down to the heart, and then flipping the palm forward to begin to shift your weight forward, hands trickle down to the yoga mat as we come into a forward fold. And here, if you want to bring your legs even a little bit wider, keep a slight flex through the feet to send the stretch to the backs of the legs. And then wherever you can rest your forearms and reaching the heart forward and the tailbone back. On the inhale, and then exhale into any space you might have created, letting the head completely go, shaking it yes and no. Inhale to create space. Exhale to melt into it. And then slowly begin to walk back. Sitting up straight through the spine, bringing feet together. The palms will come on either side of you with your fingers facing forward placing the soles of the feet into the earth. We're gonna lift up through the core, through the belly slightly, pressing our balls of our feet, the full planted heels into the earth, along with the palms of the hands and just lifting up. Pressing the belly up to the sky, taking the gaze in front of you. We won't be here for long. And then exhale, shift your bum forward towards your heels. Set your bum down on the earth and draw your elbows together. Feeling the stretch through the upper back and the arms and the wrists. And then the soles of the feet can come together as you walk your hands even closer, drawing the elbows towards one another, lifting the heart up towards the sky, taking the gaze right in front of you, or if you need to, resting the chin on the chest. And then we'll walk the hands in front of us. And we'll just slightly begin to reach our right arm over to our left knee, taking the left hand behind us, inhaling through the crown of the head, and then exhaling just one to two degrees into a very light stretch, pressing the sit bones into the earth, drawing the shoulders down the back, Breathing up and down the spine. And on your next exhale, just let yourself naturally unwind, reaching the left hand towards the right knee and the right hand behind your tailbone like a tripod. Inhale, reaching the crown up to the sky. Exhale, shoulders roll down the back and begin to slightly twist one to two degrees out of your comfort zone. And you can take this time even to close your eyes and gaze into the backs of the eyelids. And on your next inhale, unwind. And bring your hands down to your feet, just kneading your thumbs into the soles of the feet. Giving yourself, your roots, a little love.
And then on the next inhale, hands come to hug the baby, the babies, <laughs> the belly. Maybe we have more than one in there. And start to breathe directly in towards the baby as you draw up tall through the spine, feeling very rooted through your sit bones, but uplifted through your crown. And just observing any ideas, thoughts, feelings, or memories, experiences that may have triggered or surfaced during that. Vinyasa flow. Any physical tension or pain that you can then go to your journal and ask to gain more awareness about what more about this and then whatever came up fill in the blank can I become aware of creating this further connection to yourself cells and baby and then humble your head and your chin into your heart gazing down towards the belly with your eyes staying closed Just appreciating this time spent with your body and with baby. Giving yourselves what they need. And then affirm to yourself either out loud or internally. I am everything my baby needs. I am everything my baby needs. And on your next inhale, you can bring your hands into prayer position in front of the heart, tapping the thumbs into the chest to seal in your experience and the cultivated heightened vibrations you just created. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling a big clearing sigh. As you release the tapping and bow namaste to yourself, your cells, Father Sky and Mother Earth and everything in between. Thank you for taking this time to practice with me and this time for yourself and yourselves and baby. And this would be the time where you would head over to your journal and bring that question of what can you further become aware of about all that you observed and researched during your vinyasa flow today and we'll see you for next class mama take care